Welcome back to the Data Protection Diaries and welcome back to the vlog. Something a little different today than what we normally do because today we are anchoring for the last Thursday in privacy, which is a big monthly event run by the Data Protection World Forum where they look at different privacy ongoings from across uh, the globe. But today, rather than hosting, rather than being on a panel, we are anchoring, which I'm very, very excited about. So we are starting with an in-depth discussion with Max Schrems over the Max Schrems 2 case against Facebook and data transfers to the US. Because it's so important, I'm gonna put a shirt on. It's a bit of a rarity, but we're gonna do it. We're all set up, the computer's ready, microphone is ready. So we'll sit down here. But first, I need a cup of tea, I need some breakfast. I need to get smartened up because I can't remember the last time I put a shoot, a shoot, shoot, suit, jacket, shirt on. We are ready. I feel nervous. I don't know why. All I've got to do is read a script. I'm not even talking to Max Schrems, although I'll probably talk to him in a little, little pre-interlude. We are in the little, in the makeshift studio. We've got a nice white wall. But we're going to have like a backdrop for this one so that obviously we match the branding for the last days in privacy. First thing we have to do is log on. I'll show you this. Can I show you this? How do I show you this? Oh, hang on. No. So we are live now with Max Schrems and Vicky Gio. Vicky Gio is a partner at Privacy Culture, and obviously Max Schrems is the privacy activist. I'm talking a little bit quietly because I'm not 100% certain. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm on mute, and I'm definitely not on video because I only just come on at the beginning and the end, but the last thing I want to do is ruin this. But this is what it looks like from our end. So obviously we can see the Tech Protection World Forum team. We can see my screen as well, so when I need to come on to start or end a session, I can do that there. Obviously, we can see Max Schrems at home there and Vicky there. I'm going to get off this and go and listen to this conversation because I think it's going to be really fascinating. And obviously, we'll catch up as the day goes on. And we've got another four or five sessions that will give you a bit of an insight into how it all works. And this is the trickiest bit of the, of the job here, really. I don't know if you can see, but like, ah, fingers in the way, like down there. There's about 50 questions being posed uh, or poised to Max as we speak. I think he's doing a fantastic job um, of running through them all. I'm trying to keep my head in front of my to-do list. I don't know why. Um, so it's about 50 questions. She's trying to rattle through them all. We've got uh, about four minutes before we need to start wrapping this session up because the next one starts at 10 to the hour. And I'm anchoring that one as well. So I'm going to have to pause up on this screen here momentarily so they can see me and once they see me they know that they then have to start winding up which is a shame because it's a really good really good conversation um if you want to see what this is all about you can go and get this online as well we'll put links down below where you can go and catch up after the event made it on time so much so that we are now waiting for the next webinar ah! <laughs> Yeah, so this is the next one. So basically, we just have to click in and join here, and then everybody can see us. There's Rob, and then DPW team down there. So we'll get on with this we'll one. Find a better way of doing this, don't we? Here we go. So this is the next panel session. This was on the UK Data Protection Index or DPO Index, I think it is, which is about a new initiative about looking at how the role of the DPO is, is changing and what we need to do to make it more accessible. So you can see everybody here, so these guys sit here, I've taken myself off, off the camera and off the sound so that people don't have to listen to me doing this. But basically we sit here, um, everyone works out what's going on. It's about five to 11, at 11 o'clock we're gonna start. So 11 o'clock, the people from the DP forum will come on and say, right, you've got one minute to go. Then I'll go in, introduce it, come back out again, let these guys do their thing, and then go back in to close it, and then we'll move on to the next one. Like, I don't know if this is interesting. I'm probably talking to myself now. We'll take this bit out. But, yeah, there you go. It's interesting just seeing the effort that goes into it and what it looks 
from the background it does take a lot of time to put these things put these things together so we made it to lunchtime halfway through the day decided to go and get some food i didn't even realize the sun was shining until i stepped outside so we're going to walk into town grab some lunch we have got another couple of sessions to do uh, later on so there's one more session on Max Schrems, like a privacy uh, expert's review of Max Schrems. And my good friend Barry Malt is in with a telehealth session this afternoon as well. Not going to do any more on the back of those because, to be honest, like there's only so much you can tell, or I can tell you, about the background of how these webinars work. You've obviously already seen it in the video. Um, but hopefully you found it interesting, hopefully you found it useful, give you an insight into how much effort goes into filming a webinar and putting these things together in terms of making sure that everyone's audio is set up and how much effort Dave Church and World Forum put into getting them up and running. If you enjoyed this sort of content, do let me know in the comments down below. Obviously we can do more of that. More importantly, if you enjoy these videos at all, make sure you subscribe and help us reach 300 subscribers on the channel. Uh, click like and we'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Cheers. Bye.